What's going on, Mad Maniacs? Welcome back to Mad Up at Disney, and we are here at Hershey Park today. We got invited to the media event today for the announcement for the new 2020 coaster coming to Hershey Park. Thank you, Hershey Park, for inviting me to this event. And I'm just going to give you guys a quick construction update on the new entrance that is coming to Hershey Park here. And then this is the new tram entrance. Uh, there is a new bus loop over there and a new, uh, you can see the new gardening work they did over there that says Hershey. This is all extended from before and the buses are for the shuttles that go to the two Hershey resorts. Over here you have the uh, height requirements and then this is all temporary work that they're doing. Uh, they have ticketing services and season pass and then a mini gift shop over here. Um, but you can see the construction going on over there for the restaurants and shops that they're building and then a, the other construction going on over here for other buildings that they're building. And then off in the distance you can see the entrance to the new coaster that they are building. So I have my ticket here, complimentary of Hershey Park. Thank you so much for inviting me to this again. And we're going to go into the park and head to the press event. And you can see here they have this temporary entrance set up heading into the park over there. So we have to loop around here. And you can see the new roller coaster entrance. This is what you're going to see. This area will be the new opening courtyard once it's finished. And you can see over here, right over here, is where there's going to be a new fountain. And the roller coaster will actually loop around the fountain here, which is pretty cool. So you can see here on these signs, new arrival experience. They're moving the carousel. There's going to be a Starbucks, apparently. I don't know why that's a thing, but they could have just done their own coffee shop. And you see they're bringing back the old retro logo for this project. All right, so I just walked past the new sign for the coaster. The guy told me no recording of that yet, but there probably will be a sign unveiling of some sort there later after the media event. So we're in the park now. We're in early for the event. The park isn't open yet. It's like 9.45. park doesn't open until 10. You can see the carousel is over there. This is uh, where the entrance is, and it's interesting because that area always used to be flat. I mean, uh, it wasn't flat. It dipped down in a hill and then back up, and they've just leveled it out. So they had some major dirt work going on there to fill in that hole. So now we're going to head back to the theater for the event. These new stations for the new Hershey Park Go band system that they're doing. It's kind of like Disney's Magic Band, except uh, not as technologically advanced yet. Reese's Courtyard, they have these banners over here. And then the sign over here for the Reese's Cup Fusion ride. This is pretty cool. I haven't seen this yet. So you can see there's the ride in the gift shop. We'll definitely be doing this a few times later. And there is the top agents of the day so far on a scoreboard there. So yeah, this is pretty cool. We'll be coming back to this. And then the theater is right up this hill. There's a line of people getting ready for the event. But I have media access. My name is John Wan, I'm the Chief Executive Officer here at Hershey Entertainment Resorts. And I am so excited to be here today and so proud of our current collection of coasters that we offer our guests. Hershey Park is home to iconic coasters like Comet and Super Duper Looper that have thrilled guests for generations. And coasters like Sky Rush, Great Bear and Fahrenheit that top the must-ride list for coaster enthusiasts from all around the world. Our 14 coasters offer something for everyone, and we're excited to finally be revealing the details of our 15th coaster as part of Hershey's Chocolate Town. It is really hard to believe that it's already been 10 months since we announced Hershey's Chocolate Town last October. Opening in summer 2020, this new region at Hershey Park will create a place where guests can eat, play, shop, and gather year-round, transforming the guest experience in new and exciting ways. The investment of $150 million into the 23-acre Hershey's Chocolate Town development represents the largest capital investment and most transformative expansion in Hershey Entertainment Resorts history. 
So work has been progressing quickly since breaking ground in January, and we know how anxious all of our season pass holders and guests are to hear more details about one of our marquee elements, our 15th coaster. With the addition of this 15th coaster, Hershey Park will have more coasters than any other amusement park in the Northeast. But why wait until next summer to get a taste of our new thrill? We invite you to sit back and take a virtual ride on our tallest, fastest, longest, and sweetest coaster. coaster will open in summer 2020 as part of Hershey's Chocolate Town. This coaster will span an impressive seven acres and be one of the first things you see and want to ride as you enter our new front gate. Guests entering Hershey Park will be welcomed by the signature color of our milk chocolate track and three different candy themed trains representing the iconic Hershey Company brands we all love. Reese's, Kisses, and Twizzlers. There is no other place in the world where guests can experience something like Candemonium, a custom hyper coaster manufactured by industry leader Bolliger and Mavilla, known in our industry simply as B&M. And while the name is sweet, make no mistake that the ride is thrilling. Candemonium's key ingredients will feature a lift height of 210 feet, making it the tallest in Hershey Park a maximum speed of 76 miles per hour, the fastest in Hershey Park, a track length of 4,636 feet, the longest in Hershey Park. And as you can see in the video, Candymonium will feature a panoramic bank curve around the new iconic Kisses Fountain. Candymonium will also give our guests the most airtime of any coaster in Hershey Park, and will have a run time of almost two and a half minutes. As part of the ride experience, guests will enjoy seven Camelback Hills and a 123 degree Hammerhead Curve. The coaster station of Candymonium will also be our most immersive to date, with extensive theming around the world's sweetest coaster and exit retail store. This hyper coaster will be available for guests of the Twizzler height category and above, or for non-Hershey Park speak, that's 54 inches and taller. So we really do appreciate your enthusiasm, support, and interest as we create all of the experiences of Hershey Chocolate Town, 
a place where fun meets chocolate. And our newest hypercoaster, with unique elements you can't find anywhere else, is the perfect complement to our coaster lineup. So we look forward to opening up Candymonium along with the entire Chocolate Town development next summer. So thank you, and we'll see you in Chocolate Town. The 15th coaster is called Candemonium, which is, I think, a creative name fitting for the coaster that is themed to candy. Uh, and I'm going to go, we're going to go have a little bit more media stuff, and then I'm going to go explore the park. Alright, so as we're leaving, they gave us some stuff here. We got this cool Candemonium exclusive candy bar wrapper, so that's cool. As well as this uh, detailed thing about all the details of the coaster. And then Media got this awesome Candemonium milkshake. Little tiny milkshake, that's pretty cool. I'll give you guys a closer look at this. A lot going on here. So I'm gonna go finish up my stuff and then we're gonna head to the rest of the park. All right, now that the event's over, I'm gonna go ride the new ride for me, which is the Reese's Cup Fusion ride. I'm extremely excited for this because the old Reese's ride was my favorite. All right, so I got my HP Go wristband, I'm trying this out, and uh, we are not doing Reese's yet because the line is really long and everything else is short, and the guy working Reese's said that uh, Reese's would probably go down later in the day, so we're going to wait for that, do Reese's on the back end, and for now we're just going to do some roller coasters and stuff, I think. Alright guys, so we just got off of Storm Runner over there. There. There we go. Uh, as you saw in the previous clips, we just got off of that. And we got off of Trailblazer before that. And then we just ate lunch at the barbecue place down by Trailblazer. It was pretty good. I got ribs. Uh, the barbecue sauce was really good, but the ribs were a little bit overcooked. But all good. Um, now we're heading over towards the Kissing Tower Hill try to do some rides over there. We're here on beautiful Kissing Tower Hill. We're about to go do the Kissing Tower. Got a great view of the park. If anyone is at Hershey Park, I recommend doing the Kissing Tower to get a great view. That's going to be it for now from Kissing Tower Hill. Now we're going to head towards the back of the park, past the uh, water park section, to try to do some of the rides back there, because that looks to be where the short waits are right now. We're not doing Great Bear right now. I don't know if we'll come back. The Great Bear has a really long wait right now, so we're holding off on that for now. But we might be back right now. We'll see.
we're about to ride Lightning Racer, which is uh, one of my favorite ones in the park because it's it was the first coaster in the U.S. to have a dual racing system. So basically, it's two somewhat identical, not exactly the same tracks next to each other, and they race. And the trick is, whichever car is heavier wins. Just remember that if you ever come here. Just got off of Lightning Racer. Um, what a great ride. Honestly, I think it might be the most underrated roller coaster in the park. The concept of a dueling coaster is just crazy. And I know that there are others, but still, I love that ride so much. Hope it sticks around, even though it's a wooden coaster. Under Cup from the new Reese's ride is out there doing a meet and greet. We're by Cup Fusion. Uh, I'm just kind of killing some time right now. They got a bunch of decorations up all around the land, and I'm thinking I might play this Commander Cup factory game here because it wins every time and I like that. That's one. Alright, I got a miniature prize, so I lost basically, but uh, it's cool, I like it, the reason I played it because uh, it's from the new ride, all of the prizes, and you win every time, so I was guaranteed to get something. So it was fun enough, and it was only two bucks, so. Alright guys, we are finally going to go and just get in line for Reese's Cup Fusion, no matter the line, and we are going to wait it out and do this ride, because I have been looking forward to this ride for a while. Reese's Extreme Cup Challenge was like my favorite, so I am very much looking forward to this. Just like Disney, they have themed trash cans. This is groundbreaking stuff. Alright, so we're about 40 minutes into the line, 30 40 minutes in. Um, and we're moving pretty good. It'll probably be about an hour, hopefully, assuming that there's not too much inside. Um, but I'm not going to record too much on the ride just because it's my first time and I want to try to get the best score possible, obviously. Um, but I will do a few clips if I can. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to record from my lap. It's time to see what you are here to protect, the Crystal Cup. I don't know if that's good or not. I win. Hee <laughs> hee. All right, so I'm a huge Reese's fan. It's my favorite candy. And there's a whole Reese's gift shop here now. So let's look around. Of this Reese's Cup t-shirt, uh, $22.99. It's a pretty cool hat. How much is this? $19.99. That's not bad for a hat. They have the blasters from the ride. That's pretty cool. How much? And this is $14.99. It shoots up. We see sweatshirts, more hats, mugs, pillows, all sorts of stuff here. Magnets here. Let's see if they have any pins. All sorts of pins here with a bunch of the different characters. They got Commander Cup. This one, which I like, which is the logo. Uh, and this logo as well. I like all of these, these two, especially. And this one. I like this one too. The villains, merchandise here. And then a bag, that's pretty cool. And I like this shirt, that's also $22.99. Here they have drawstring bags with the logo on it. Shot glasses, mugs, and uh, sweatshirts. As for me, I'm going to be buying this hat, because I like the hat and I can wear it with, I have a Reese's shirt I can wear it with. And then I'm also getting the logo pin as well as the pin with the orange circle and the R through it. But I do also like the drawstring bags that they have down there, so maybe at a future time I will get one of them. Alright, so outside of Cup Fusion, did get this hat. 
So thank you, Hershey Park, for taking my money. And then, uh, now I think we might go down to Comet Hollow for a bit before heading out. I don't know. But I know before we're heading out, we are going to Chocolate World. I just don't know what we're doing before that. So I'm very sad because my score was only slightly below the 30th spot, so I barely missed out getting on the board. And then the last thing we are going to do today is Super Duper Looper right over there because it has a short wait, so why not? Alright, we are headed out of Hershey Park, but not of Hershey, not yet. We are going over to Chocolate World to grab dinner, do a little bit of shopping, and maybe ride the ride if we have time. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, in case you haven't been to Hershey before, Chocolate World is adjacent to Hershey Park, and it is basically a big building themed to Hershey's Chocolate with a massive store and a lot of restaurants and then also a slow moving dark ride through how they make chocolate which is really interesting so we're gonna head over there and uh, spend a few hours there before we head out before we head out I want to check this store here I want to see if they have any carousel 100th anniversary merchandise because I heard that they did I don't see anything. So they have the stuff, but it looks like they don't have the shirt I was looking for. But I love this design, so that's a shame. So we're heading out, and this is just so weird to me how open this is. There was so much here, and now it's all gone. That's just weird. And I did end up buying the keychain of the 100th anniversary of the carousel because I love the design so much. And I was hoping to get a shirt. But then I just, they didn't have any, they were sold out, and it was limited edition, so there's no more left. So I said, I'll just get the keychain. I don't use keychains, but I will use this one. So we're about to walk past where the 15th coaster is over here. So let us see if they put up any additional signing since our event many hours ago. It feels like it's been a long day. Quick look at the construction on Chocolate Town relative to the entrance over here and the uh, stadium. Look at that, they put up the signs from earlier. They got the new logo up there. All the stuff over there. They, uh, this was all covered earlier and now it's now it's revealed. So I hope to be uh, one of the first people to ride this new roller coaster. I hope I am. Um, but for now, we're just gonna go to Chapel World. It's hard to see because of the sun, but uh, there is a lot of work going on over, over there. And with that, we are out of Hershey Park and at Hershey's Chocolate World. Now, if you haven't been to Chocolate World, I am just saying that when you walk through the doors, you just smell the chocolate instantly. So let's do that. Let's go in. Hershey's Chocolate, Hershey's Chocolate, Hershey's Chocolate World. It is not a trip to Hershey without doing this ride. This ride has changed over the years, but its basic principle is still the same. And it's so iconic. It's so iconic that one time when I was a kid and we were here for the day, I did this ride about 14 times in one day. That just shows the level of dedication. I have to the Hershey brand. Just saying. We pour the blended cocoa beans into large revolving roasters, which get extremely hot. Next Roasted! Filling machines generate lots of heat through intense pressure and friction. The grinding turns cocoa nibs into the smooth, dark liquid used to make milk and dark chocolate.
This brings out the chocolate's rich taste and creamy texture, and of course, that wonderful smell. Look, I know it's fake, and that it's not real chocolate, but it smells so good in here. Conching is the elite step of chocolate making. Look how elite this is. Now comes the fun part. All of that fresh, delicious Hershey's chocolate goodness is finally ready to be packaged. Everyone has a favorite. Mine are Hershey's Kisses chocolates. store here it's pretty big and I'm gonna buy some candy all right so if you're ever here at Chalk World come to the Reese section and they have a candy here that they don't have many places now they might have it at a place near you in the corner Reese's crispy crunch bars these things are my absolute favorite candy on the planet and they have them like nowhere so whenever I'm here I get a few Did you know Paki is part of the Hershey family? Well, I'm going to be honest, I didn't even know Paki existed, so no. So I just wanted to point out that Hershey has brought back their pin trading program, which I am stoked about. They have this cool 125 years pin, a happy birthday pin, my first visit. What I especially like is over here, they have these cool lanyards. I like the Reese's one, big Reese's fan. But they also have this set that has all of the different experiences here at Hershey's Chocolate World. Now let's see how much this is. My guess is like 40 bucks. 30 bucks, that's actually a bargain for, oh and I love the pin bags, I like Hershey Kisses. This is really exciting stuff. Um, I'll probably be buying this the next time I'm here. All right, so we are finished here at Chocolate World. And with the view of the construction going on behind me, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I know this is probably a long video. I recorded a lot of footage today, but I felt super blessed that I had this opportunity to come here to Hershey Park today. Again, thank you to Hershey Park and the entire Hershey Park PR team for inviting me. Um, I hope to be back for future events. And that is all for now, and I will see all of you Mad Maniacs in the next video.